So I gotta tell you a story about the angriest I've ever seen any customer get. It was one of those customers who they're very involved, right? They're watching everything you do. They wanna make sure you're doing everything right and you wanna protect their property. So I completely understand. I'm kind of used to it. I've been cleaning windows for over a decade and people like to watch. So at the time I had an employee who's upwards of 250 pounds, big guy, hard worker, but big guy. We get to the house, we're getting started. We're cleaning, everything's looking good. I'm on the inside cleaning the windows while the employee's on the outside using a water fed pole. And mostly the, the customer there's just watching my employee. He's suspicious about everything. So at the time that employee was very much lacking confidence and he hated being watched. And he, it's like somebody's watching you, it's easy to freeze up. You start making mistakes because you get nervous and that started to happen. So as innovative as he was, there was this one window on the back patio right above a hot tub. Now this hot tub had one of those four inch thick covers on it that kept it insulated so if it got cold the water would still stay warm and he looks at it and imagines that it's just the same as a platform or a deck and he climbs on top of the hot tub patio to reach the window now he's got a water fed pole and it telescopes out so there's no reason for him to do that he could just lengthen it out a few feet and reach that window from anywhere but no he climbs up on top of this pad and the customers out there and watches and starts screaming ballistically. I run outside as fast as I can. What do you bleeping think you're doing? He starts cursing the kid out, saying, get off of my property. He doesn't belong here. What does he think he's doing? And so I run out as fast as I can, try to address the matter, figure out finally what's happening. That bleeping kid just climbed on top of my patio furniture. He destroying my spa cover. So I, I try to defuse the situation. I said, I'm so sorry, sir. That was definitely a mistake. Buddy, go sit in the car. We're almost finished anyways. I'll talk to you later. So customer is irate. Understandably so, right? I say, look, we'll cover a new cover for your hot tub. I'm so sorry that happened. It's not your fault. Kids these days, typical boomer reaction, right? If you're a boomer, no offense, but he uh, blames on his generation. So I said, I'm sorry, that was a bad mistake. I'll cover, I'll get you a new hot tub cover. I'll take care of whatever needs to be paid. Um, you just let me know the cost. He's like, you know, don't worry about it. Turns out we were able to take that hot tub cover and even though it had started to buckle a little bit, flipped it over and it all evened out. There was no actual cracks in it. It was actually very well made. I was very impressed that it was able to endure that amount of weight. So I finished the job. The customer's still super upset, angry, frustrated, but insists that he pay me the full amount of the job. I tried to give him a discount and tip me cash extra. And you know, basically hinting, you better fire that kid. So I get to the car afterwards, the truck, and my employee, he's extremely disappointed in himself. He realizes he made a stupid mistake and he's expecting to be fired. And the thought crossed my mind. But I see how upset he was. And I'd say, bud, that was a terrible mistake. You should know better. You should not climb on top of patio furniture or especially a hot tub cover. Says, I know, boss, I'm so sorry. You gotta fire me, boss. I know, I understand. It's not your fault. I, I'll, I'll take the consequences. And I say, look, I just invested in your education. That was a college course in what not to do. So I, thankfully, we don't have to pay for anything out of pocket. Everything's fine. Just promise me you'll never make that mistake again. I say, boss, I understand, but if you still want to fire me, you should do it. And I say, no, I can't fire you. I just invested in you. There's no way. I already paid the cost. So just promise me you'll never do that again. Say, yes, sir. Yes, boss. And he never made that mistake again. He became one of the most loyal and dedicated employees that I've ever had and worked for me for a few years afterward. And I, I couldn't brag enough about how much he learned from that situation. So moral of the story, guys, if you have a little bit of patience with people, it will come back and, and help you and bless you in droves. So be patient with people who are working for you. Be patient with people who are angry at you or angry with your people and uh, stand up for your employees, but let them know that you're there for them and that 
one mistake is not the end of the world. It's something you can recover from. And in the end, it didn't even cost me anything other than just the need to be patient. I didn't blow up on anybody. And because of that, I earned the loyalty of that customer and the loyalty of that employee.